Hello and welcome to episode 13 of Road to Community Warfare. So, I... Oh god, I had to play a lot of games, but... I did it. We have our raven. Uh, so... I left most of the games until Monday night. They extended it, thankfully. I was able to use Monday night because I was just busy during the rest of the weekend. But I had to sit down after I got home from work at like 4.30 and just play for 7 hours straight in order to make up my games. Uh, but so worth it. This mech, very high value. Uh, not only just the chassis, but also uh, this XL295 engine. We did so great, we don't have to grind out an XL engine for this thing. So that's many, many hours of gameplay saved. So let's go over how I would configure that in just a moment. But first, I made some slight alterations to my Thunderbolt 9S while playing. Uh, just uh, slightly upgraded its engine, put on uh, endo steel, moved around my heat sinks, rebalanced my armor. So it is good. Uh, that was probably going to be my final build. I'm using this one from uh, Metamex website. Very good. Uh, some very strong builds on there. They work quite well. So that's there. Next, we're going into the Raven here. We'll go configure. So there's two primary builds I like to do on this thing. One being a SRM striker, and another being the uh, two ER large laser uh, poker. So let's try out the striker first. Uh, we want to get rid of this Amos. It's just not useful. We've got the Guardian ECM. We don't have to worry about um, enemy missiles. And yes, we want to buy armor. We're going to need to armor up this bird a lot. Put the back up to 8 and we'll pump up this armor. It's criminal that they have this champion so under-armored. I would believe I need to get rid of more stuff. Uh, right torso, we're going to take off that 6. For just a moment, we're going to put a, put a missile launcher back. We just need to get the, the armor up before we start thinking about that kind of stuff. Okay. Good, 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 good. And center torsos all the way up and head. Oh yeah, max armor. Excellent. And now we take... Maybe a shave off our arms in a moment. That should be fine. A couple points off there. How many? Three points off each arm? There. Rounded out to 33 tons. And the right torso, instead of the six, we're going to put on a four. And that puts us up. So we drop the six down to a four, we get rid of the AMS, we pump all of our armor up. And that is a better build has one ton of ammo per SRM4. Uh, that runs right into my guidelines. I like to put on half a ton of SRM for every two rating of SRMs. So this is an SRM4, so that's two ratings of two. It would be two half tons, or a single ton. All right. So, save this up. And let's give this mech a try. Uh, it should be nice and fast comparatively to our other trundling thunderbolts. Although thankfully now that I've upgraded both of their engines they are running at uh, both over 70. So it's quite nice. They're within a few kilometers an hour of each other uh, with the Thunderbolt 9S just being a couple slower. But for shorter wait times use light mechs. We use light mechs and we got 53 more minutes of the premium time left from the weekend challenge. So we'll not only be getting the 30% bonus experience from running the champion version, we'll also be getting 50% bonus from the premium time. So in total, we'll be getting 80% more experience for this mech, so we should be able to almost basic it today if I get a few good games. Alright, skirmish on Ganyan. Where is my cockpit? What is going? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I don't know what the hell went on there. So we'll put our SRM onto group 2, and we got our medium lasers, right side mounted, and our SRMs. I'm not going to test them because I want to save my ammo. My god, we're fast. And we have uh, the best piece of equipment in the entire game, Guardian ECM. So this not only cloaks me, but every one of my allies within 180 meters makes them invisible to 
radar. Um, you can still use the good old Mark 1 eyeball and spot them, however, you're not going to be able to get the weapon locks, which is very useful against the large amount of missiles I was actually running into yesterday when I was playing. So, just doing a little initial scouting here, trying to see where the enemy's coming from, and get a shot into that <sighs> missile links, right? Yeah. I'm trying to remember all my mech names. We don't want to poke out okay. too far. You get a couple scouting bonuses because we're the first ones to spot those guys. And move over here so we can get our um, fire starter and our ECM. And I actually have an ECM to counter for some reason. Now it's on disrupt. Now we're being cloaked. And I am standing still. I'm gonna dodge those shots there coming in. And keep moving. So I saw that those guys were going to be lining up into a shot, so I moved in a J, like so, like that, and caused them to uh, miss their shots as I gradually increased my sideways momentum. Yeah, I can't get up there. Oh well. We're just going to stick around the team. We're just providing ECM is a very, very important thing, and I almost wish it was uh, more reward it. So, say you have an enemy under, an ally under ECM for a set amount of seconds, and then you get an ECM cover bonus. That'd be great. But we're in a pretty strong position here. We just gotta wait for the enemy to make a move. There seems to be an enemy around that corner. Somebody. We just gotta wait. Be patient. And don't get cocky. Got a shot on that enforcer. Ooh, if we can. Oh, I was gonna say go for his right, but that guy did it for me. He had the dual UX, um, so he had to have been running a an XL engine. There's no other way to fit that build. It looks like there's some enemies down here that we can go and put some shots into. Watch out for the king crab. The dual goss will end me, so I need to make sure I don't give much face time to them. It takes three quarters of a second for him to charge his goss, unless he's pre-charged. So that's the absolute minimum amount of time I want to give his uh, exposure. A little bit of a hit there, but we're backing up. Backing up. Dire whale up there. He comes around that corner, we can shoot for his right torso. It's continuing to give VCM to the team. Well, kind of face checked it. That was not a very good maneuver, but we didn't get away with too much damage. Trying to go for that left torso on that Timby. I think we can sneak it. Yeah, we helped with it. That's for sure. Target destroyed. And he's down. Alright, let's wrap around and get him. Target. And we're in behind. And there, wolf's taking it up the butt. That's it, Direwolf. Stand still. Oh, I'm out of here. It's getting a little hot. I'm getting some allies line of fire. So I'm just gonna give them the ECM cover and let them do their work. I feel like I'd be able to assassinate that Direwolf if I wanted to. Go around the corner and just put it in. Put him down. The dog he is. Ooh, nah, that's not what I want to see. <laughs> okay, right, and out of there. Oh, I haven't driven lights in a very long time. I've been driven the 
driving the Thunderbolts for so long, I'm getting not used to them. But we're just going to get right to this guy's butt. And put him down. One last guy. Now we just go hunting. Light right up there. Roger that, I'll chase him down. Target acquired. Countering ECM. So I've swapped my ECM to counter, so that way he can't hide under his ECM, and we'll oh, go for his legs. It's all good. Barely felt it. And we take down our enemies. The first game. It's excellent. What did we get for a score? 440 damage, 0 kills, 6 assists, but uh, this mech can get a lot of kills, but really, you're there for the assists. You're there for helping out your team and being that sneaky little bastard when you need to. 3,888 experience. We got our premium bonus, mech bonus, and, pre and the first victory of the day, which doubles all of these bonuses as well, so great that they're all active. Pop into our skills here, and go to our lights, go to our ravens, go into the 3L, and for Light max most important ones are Kinetic Burst and Hard Break First, because that uh, greatly improves your ability to poke out, step back, and maneuver around. Um, other ones is as you choose. I'm going to go Cool Run, because it will be able to shoot things faster. But Kinetic Burst and Hard Break First. Alright. What I will try out here is do another build that's really good on the Raven 3L. Uh, this is the 2 ER large laser build. Take off the SRMs, take off the medium lasers, leaving, on, leaving the ECM on there because that's so important. Oh, you need that ECM. Your right arm and you go... Uh, you can do ER large lasers. They have a duration of 1.25 and they shoot really long. Or you can do regular large lasers, the duration of one. They don't shoot as far, but it's easier to be putting that damage onto one component, and uh, you have less of an explosion time. So, it entirely depends on what you want to do. Uh, for your mech, I could do the two large lasers. Also, their heat is slightly lower. Um, it's just one point, but it's slight. But we can get a pair of ER large. Um, just need to move some tonnage around. I need to take that heat sink out of the center torso, and you can put two ER large, 1.42 heat management, 35 tons. And we'll show you how to lay the ER large sort of sniper. Alright, we're here. Skirmish on Viridian Bog. And again, a strange cockpit glitch. Cockpit doesn't show up until halfway into powering up. Uh, Alright, so we got our two ER large lasers. I got them left click together, right click machine fire, just so I can manage my heat if I need to. Um, like that. They're both in the arm, so I got the um, vertical tra traverse with them in case I need to shoot somebody really high or really low. This map, because we have our speed, we're going to go really, really quick. And we're going to get into the top of C4 right there. And we're going to hold that position while our team moves into C4. Hopefully takes it aggressively. Alright. So, I love this little mech. It's, uh, I've got one of them on my main account. This is my primary build on it, the two uh, ER large. Although, sometimes I actually switch out to the standard large, but then do a large laser uh, range modification onto it. And it brings it out to a, a decent range. Um, it's not as long as the lar ER large laser. I mean, there'll be some matches where you're like on Alpine and you won't be dealing damage as much as you wish, but 
I think that's a good trade-off for a little bit less heat and uh, uh, the, just the drastically reduced burn time. A uh, quarter second less is, is pretty strong. So, not the best map for 2ER large uh, Raven. Uh, there isn't as many good long-range sightlines, but there are some, and we can put some fire into this guy. And we can give our ally here the ECM coverage he needs. And they're probably going to be more interested in shooting at him, just like that. And I can get away with just hiding behind him. Poke that Hellbringer whenever he pops out. And we'll go for this fire starter's legs when we can. Come on, one more shot. Okay, his legs are pretty damaged, but you get away. Ooh, here comes a dire. I'll put our shots into it. Ooh, damn, that hurt. All right, hide behind the tree. Now, if you didn't have this tree here, didn't have a piece of solid cover, I would not suggest hanging around, as you never really want to stop up and shoot if you don't feel safe. Um, so these guys have no line of fire on me, so I feel like I can I can stop and drain lasers at their their direction. If it was an open line of fire, I would be moving like so while making the shot so that it's harder for them to uh, hit the counter shot. And we're gonna rotate with our team, because we got enemies coming up on our rear. My ECM sense was tingling. Ooh, ah, that's a tree. Alright, walk around the tree. And get the hell out of there. Turn around! Turn around, Dalai! We need you. Oh god. And out of there. Come on, allies. The enemy. They're right there. Go that way. Counter push. Go. Counter push. Hard. Oh god, I stopped up. That was not good. I took damage to my left torso. Okay, I'm not gonna poke out. This is wrong. This is not how you play mech. I'm start. I, I'm still thinking of playing like a heavy. I need to play like a light. I gotta get into the mindset. You gotta flank. You gotta use your speed. You gotta be like I'm over here. No, I'm over here. Ha ha! I'm everywhere. Sort of feeling. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh, <laughs> Atlas saved me. Who shot me in the tailpipe? Is it an enemy across the way or is it an ally? Probably an ally, because allies are bad. Sometimes they be bad. Still playing it like a heavy. My god. I'm bad at this mech today. Let's counter. So we can get some positive locks in these guys. There's a Raven 3L. I need to counter his ECM, so I'll keep him under that. But now he's done. And just the Locust. Let's run him down. So, we probably won't do as much uh, damage this match. But we'll probably do an okay amount. Ooh, God. Share the love. Not sure what achievement that is. But I believe it's getting a certain amount of assists. Ten assists. Nice. Uh, Lowish damage roll, 275. No kills, but we get a decent payout because of all the assists. All of those wonderful, wonderful, wonderful assist damages. Excellent. And more experience. Alright, another skirmish, this time on Force Colony Snow. 
So this would be great. Nice cold map. Uh, we can go out into the water, um, submerge some of our parts in the water, get a better cooling efficiency, although I actually don't think that's going to work because we don't have any um, external heat sinks in the legs or in the side torsos. Not that we can put them in the legs because we have inner sphere tech, but that would be something to consider if you did. But since we have ECM, more than safe to go into the water alone. We don't need the team because they can't see us. And we'll just pick up a position right here. And we'll do some enemy watching. Target acquired. Spot that guy. Um Hello, Mr. Timber. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, we get a little bit of spotting assist there. But, let's go be a little sneaky bastard. There's that. Enemy Hoogan. He's getting into our lance there. Go and poke. Oh, he's a little too far for our lasers. Or I must have just missed him. Yeah, no problem. Just do some long range shooting here. No reason to get close, as we are good here. We'll put some fire into this Hukin. We need to take him out. He's being a, a nuisance to our team. Oh, my, my aim is really jumpy right now. Go for those legs. Yeah, he's getting away. But he should be taken out relatively soon here. Oh, hi. Axel. Come back, give our team ECM coverage it deserves. And mm, I got a little bit of a high ping right now. I was wondering why my shots weren't registering very well. Ooh. Try to torso twist some of that damage. And instead of poking out, we'll cross. And it's hard for them to hit that running target. Uh, so if you have a really slow mech, you can, you know, trundle out, you can go peek, shoot, back, but you see they've trained themselves in the corner, so it's not a good idea for me to do that very often. Although, now I want to do it because my Darwolf is tanking. I want to obviously support the Dar. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. That guy's got to be a standard engine, because not enough wait there with those medium pulses. So that guy's down. There's a guy up there. I'm trying to see. Ooh, ah, I shot that guy in the back. That's no good. Artie, 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 oh my god. Get out of my way, Dyer. I can't take Arties like that. Okay. Uh, it's just getting squirrely in there. Too many people in an enclosed space for me. We'll go back and field the outfield here. Get the guys on our tail. Watch for those UAVs. Drain some lasers into that. Timby. Try to keep all of our Allies here under ECM. Ah. Guy killed himself. It's the absolute worst thing you can do. I'm going to see if I can get some flanking shots on these guys. Got a good shot there on the Jenner. Oh, we legged him. Or at least I believe we legged him. I want to believe we legged him. 
Oh, there's so many enemies. I don't think we're going to win this one. No. I took a hard cost there. Unfortunately, I think we are kaput. Let's try to put in as much as possible. Who's that Stormcrow? It's probably the guy who gossed me. Ah, dodged his goss. At least he hit the ground. D d d no. Don't don't get hit by that goss. Ah! He took me out. Oh well. He is a good shot. Ah. So, I still need to get into the habit of drying... Um, drying? Driving light mechs. Uh, instead of stepping back and poking out the same location, I should have been repositioning. I should have been doing drive by every so often, where instead of um, poking, stopping, and backing up, I should have poked, slowed down slightly just to get the shot off, and then ran through and just done a circle, come back to the same position. And then that way, if an enemy's going to be like, oh, he's going to stop and go back, and then you trick him out by going forward. But I'll get used to it eventually. Get 12... Uh, 120,000 sea bills and another 1,000 experience. So, we did all right with our Raven for the first time. I am quite tired this evening, so uh, let's put it all up to that. That's exactly why we didn't perform better. Next time, I'll get 1,000 damage game in my Raven. Although, that would be amazing. I wouldn't want to pressure myself. We are at 4.3 million Seavills, so that means that we are actually close to getting our third Thunderbolt. Um, just go to Thunderbolts quickly here. Uh, Thunderbolt 9 SE, because we want those jump jets, is 5.8. And I think it's... I think with my upgrades, it is... 8, I want to say. Uh, so, but we can get it at 5... And then we can we can swap engines, woo! Because we have a 290 in our 9s, and we have a 300 in our 5ss. We can do some engine swapping until we can buy a, a new engine, and we can level out our Thunderbolt 9sc. And then once it's done its basics, oh man, we get speed tweak on both of these, and that's gonna be amazing. But for now, thank you for watching this episode of Road to Community Warfare, and as always, good hunting.